For 17 days now, all the country's attention has been riveted to the Gulf War. Nowhere has the feeling of uneasiness and anticipation been stronger than in the towns that are home to the American military bases. President Bush visited several of them yesterday, including Goldsboro, North Carolina, to boost family spirits. ABC's Ray Gandolph discovered that the people of Goldsboro know how to cope. Patriotic fervor is like a muscle. If you don't exercise it, it might dry up on you. Goldsboro, North Carolina is flexing its patriotism to the max. This is a very pro-military town because of the proximity of the base, I suppose, but also it's just the way our people are. The base is Seymour Johnson Air Force Base, home of the 4th Tactical Fighter Wing and its F-15Es, the Strike Eagles. Two of its flyers are missing in action. Two are prisoners of war. Goldsboro has paid its dues. The President of the United States, George Bush! When he visited the base yesterday, the President met privately with the grieving families and spoke publicly to the rest especially to the kids. I want you to know that your parents, your loved ones, our troops in the Gulf, are enduring the hardships of war today so that you may know the blessings of peace tomorrow. My dad contains missiles. He works on the missiles, see if they're good enough to bomb Baghdad or wherever Saddam Hussein is. Are you the man in the family now? Yes, I am. For kids, life begins early in wartime, and life goes on for families half a world apart. I haven't allowed my life to change. That's his job, and in my opinion, he does it 100%. He's, he's good at what he does. We were up the night the war started, both of us at my house, cheering him on. We're very proud of him, but uh, waiting for him to come home. In Goldsboro, kinship with the troops in Saudi Arabia is not an abstraction, it's a fact. The fathers of two Eastern Wayne High School basketball warriors are real warriors in the Gulf. Even here, at a close game last night between two arch rivals before an overflow crowd, even here, the war intrudes, seems somehow closer. At least it does for Michael Coles and Kevin Gurley. I'm hearing from you in a while. And what do you write to him or, call, or say to him when he calls? I tell him I love him, you know, to keep him going. I guess, you know, he, he knew what he had to do when he joined the military. But I miss him, man. I wish he was back here with us. Do you have any advice for other families? Uh, not to pay much attention to the people who protest the war. Just have faith in your husbands, have faith in your country, and everything will work out right. There may be some anti-war sentiment in Goldsboro, but it is not overt. Its public heartbeat, at least, is a flat line. This is where the strike eagles nest, under a Carolina sky. Ray Gandolf, ABC News, Goldsboro, North Carolina.